Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a nice cut out text effect in Affinity Publisher version 2. Keep in mind, you can recreate the very same effect using Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo as well. So please choose a software that you like to use your own and you can follow this tutorial in any software from Affinity family. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for more Affinity tutorials. All right, let's get started. As you can see, here I am in the new blank document in Affinity Publisher. That's just A4 page. I got one page here. That's not a multi-page document. We will focus on creating a text effect today. So let's start with a text tool. As you know, we got a tool for making a something called frame so we can create a frame for longer text but we can also select the second one artistic text tool just that just for like one line of text all right so we can type anything we want we could like the headline text here and then we can choose a font from the phone menu over here Keep in mind, if you've got some favorite fonts, you can give them a little heart on the right side and it will be, they will be moved to your favorite. So let's try to do it right now. I like to use this one earlier around. I give it a little heart on the right side. And if I go to my favorite, I can see only one font, I heart here. So if you've got too many fonts, like most of us, that's gonna be a way to create your curated lists with fonts that you've been using currently, that your favorite one. All right, so here it is my favorite font for this project. Crew Mark, that's name of my channel. Don't forget that name. <laughs> and let's start with effects. First, we will need a backdrop. In that case, I suggest using contrasting backdrop to the text. We can simply draw a rectangle and this will work as our backdrop. Right now it's above the text. So let's drag it down in the layer panel below our text. And if you can use a gradient backdrop in your project, I would suggest doing that. In that case, we are already indicating that there is some kind of light going on. We got some kind of shadows and lights. So let's change from a fill color to a gradient fill. All right. And for our gradient fill, we should pick something more on the blue side today i'm going for blue colors so this will be a darker side and that one will be the brighter one in my case something like that all right and let's adjust this gradient with the gradient tool so it's more like diagonal one other side like that all right so as you can see my backdrop, backdrop is blue, but a little bit brighter at the top right corner. That's kind of indicate when, where the light is coming from. All right, let's lock this layer. Click on the layer, then on the little padlock icon. This way we will not select this by mistake. This is our backdrop. That's the main purpose for it. And here's the text itself. So now I can uh, simply change the color of it. And as you can see, the program is bothering me constantly with some kind of grammatic error spelling indicator. We don't want that. So I think I will search for options to switch this off. So I don't have this red line under this word. All right. So let's go to spelling and we will switch off the spelling check for this one. All right. Here's our text on the backdrop, a good start. Now we just simply click on the text layer and then FX below in the layer panel. It will pop up this window for layer effects. One more time, select your layer and then FX here below the layer effects. You got this window for layer effects. That's what we need. And now we will apply an inner shadow. Let's start with that inner shadow. Let's move some sliders in and then move the offset even harder. All right. And as you can see, it's not exact direction of the shadow we should get based on our light source. Keep in mind, I put the light source here, top right corner. So I should have my shadow from this side like that. Less intense. 
a bit of softer, softer, softer. And that's a nice addition. I know the color of the text, so I can adjust the color of the shadow manually. So this way it will be a bit more natural. All right. We got nice shadow inside. Take a look. Let me just zoom in. I'm using Command Plus to zoom in. Just a shortcut. We got this shadow here. That's nice. Let's continue. If you want to reopen this effect window, you can press FX here, this little icon now on the layer itself. And we are back here. We can continue with different layers. So let's also add some kind of outer glow. This is like the old trick. You can make the background a little bit brighter around the object to make the contrast even stronger. But I don't think we're going to use the outline. It's too strong. So let's just go with the glow. As I mentioned before, outer glow is over here. And this will give us like just soft light coming out of it. I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And I will keep it small like that. All right. What else can we do here? Let's try the gradient. Rotate the gradient the way that we got the dark color here at the top. So it's kind of like counter to our scene lighting, right? And in our scene, we got light from the top and now we got dark color from the top. Why? Because that's cut out. That's a hole and that's under the picture. So that will be uh, helpful for us to make this illusion. And of course, let's adjust, let's adjust our overlay. Sorry, blend mode to be maybe overlay or hard light, something that will just bring those darker tones out. Maybe color burn in that case. Hmm? That's nice. All right. So I color burn a little bit darker color from the top like this. And I think my outer glow is a little bit too strong and too small. So I'm going to adjust that after I zoom out, I see the whole thing. So I can make the radius even bigger and it's more like blur into the backdrop. Right now, how about our backdrop itself? Looking good, we got this shadow in and this way we can create a nice looking cut out effect with just a few layer effects on the text. If you want to go even deeper, you can experiment with 3D. There's a 3D option here. Of course, I need to change direction to be down. And this way we can get a nice 3D depth to it like that as our final touch. So let's apply a bit of that as well. If it's too strong, you can use this soften option and also the opacity option here as well. All right. And that was our finishing touch to apply this 3D effect on it as well. And I think it's a really nice looking cutout text. The best part is that just a layer effect. So that's a simple layer with the text and I can modify that. I can edit that text, whatever I want. And if you got another text later on without the text effect, you can copy this in two ways. Let me show you the old way from version one. We just go here to that guy and you go normal Command C as you would copy the whole object, go to the new one and from the edit menu, you just paste FX or paste style and you copy the effects. Now we got also the new way. Let me undo. The new way is you can simply pick this tool called style picker tool that's added in version two when you can pick the style as you would pick the color from the another object. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.